it's really important that you could look at a graph and then make conclusions based on it. So the most important thing you need to be able to do when looking at a graph is to be able to interpret it, to give data, to use numbers, to give examples. I, I, I can't guarantee it, but there's a 90-90% chance that if you don't put numbers in your answer, you're not going to get the marks. So look at the graph, look at the data and prove to the examiners that you can read a graph properly. So to start off simply, I have a graph which correlates how sparkly something is with how happy it makes me. So sparkle versus happiness. And we can see this line here. And we can write a sentence that says something like, as sparkle increases, so happiness increases. This shows the examiner that we can read axis and we can um, see what the line's doing as well. Here we have a sim same axis and a very similar graph. We can see that as spark increases, happiness increases up to a level, which means at a certain point, no matter how sparkly it makes, it's how sparkly it is, it's not going to make me any happier. So here we need to write two things down. So this will probably be a two mark question in the exam. The examiner will be looking for you to say something about this part of the graph and then something separate about this part of the graph as well. So this graph is slightly the other way around. So we can see when there's a high amount of sparkle, I'm not very happy. And when there's a low amount of sparkle, I'm quite happy. And this is a graph that we call inversely proportional. So we can say that sparkle and happiness are inversely proportional. Now we have some data on this graph here and if there's data on the graph, like I said, the exam is going to expect you to use it. And this is a two-part graph. It does one thing and then it does something else. So we can say that uh, as sparkle increases... So as sparkle increases, happiness increases. That is dealt with the first part of the graph until until we get to 10 sparkle. So we've included some data in our graph here. We've managed to use the axis to read off some numbers. So 10 sparkle um, when happiness remains level. So we've talked about both parts of the graph and we've included some data in here. So we're just moving up to slightly more sophisticated skills and things that are going to get us more marks in the exam. So the last graph here is really quite complicated. There's quite a lot going on here. So we can see that as sparkle increases, happiness increases. So let's deal with this um, part by part. So as sparkle So as sparkle increases, happiness increases. That's dealt with this part of the graph. Now we need to deal with this part of the graph here. And a really good thing for you to do is to start drawing construction lines on graphs. Um, so you get a ruler and draw lines. And we can put until 
and I would say that is about mm, 18 sparkle. So happiness remains level, but it doesn't remain level for very long. Because if we go down on the graph here, we can see it remains level from um, four and a half until six and a half. From 4.5 to 6.5. And then we need to talk about what happens in this part of the graph here. So I've talked about the three different things that are happening in the graph separately and I've included data. So just because I'm talking about how sparkly things are and how happy they make me um, doesn't mean you can't use this and relate it to something else. It doesn't really matter what the x and y axis say as long as you talk about them both in your answer and you can use data. Thanks for watching, I really hope this is helpful. Subscribe so you don't miss any of my new videos. Share to help your friends get better grades. Any comments, corrections, questions or requests down below please.